Uh, I've just recently been accepted to a Brockenhurst College, which is over in Brockenhurst. And I haven't got any qualifications whatsoever. I've got a few like uh, things I've done. I did a food course, which is something really random and has pretty much got nothing to do with this. But I mainly got in on sort of the stuff I've achieved physically in terms of practical stuff. Like, I'm a member of the BNSS, which is basically the Board of Natural Science Society. I know a guy called Jonathan McGowan, he's a big cat expert. We go hunting for big cats and leopards and stuff that are in the wild. We went, we got all this, accumulated all this stuff, all this practical stuff I'd done, just lists and lists of it, and showed them that, and basically I would talk to them about it. They asked me all the questions, and I was able to answer them confidently, like I would if it was anybody else, you know, because I've just, well, we've, we've done it, basically. We've achieved this by doing as much practical stuff as physically possible. You know, I've got in on merit of stuff I've got to show for it instead of just saying, oh yeah, by the way, I did a GCSE. Look, I've got a bit of paper, whoopee doo. I'm doing my GCSEs at the moment and when I've finished, in fact, I have finished my exams, when I get my results, I will be going to Farnborough College where I'm aiming to do five A-levels and lots of other enrichment. I really haven't thought out a plan for what I'm going to do next but I intend to pursue what I enjoy as I'm doing with my education at the moment. You do have some difficulties if you don't have traditional qualifications in that the UCAS form is very much not designed for you. It's designed for those people who've logically progressed through a school career from GCSEs to A-levels um, via AS, of course, and so they have predicted grades which they can put on the form. I didn't have any of that. What I have is two open university credits and, and a music exam. Um, Happily, the personal statement is very helpful in that regard because it allows you to explain to some extent why you haven't managed to fill out any of the boxes you're supposed to be able to do quite easily. And I found that very helpful. Um, it can also be a challenge, of course, if you've not been at school generally, to have someone as a referee. But luckily, one of the open university tutors I had was able to write me a very helpful reference. Now, while some universities were not so happy with my, my lack of qualifications, one university sent me an email asking if I'd filled the form in wrong, others were very, very helpful towards it. And I know a lot of my friends have had a very great success at a lot of universities. I was able to get into Oxford, and I suppose they are to some extent able to be more flexible because they not only look at your UCAS form and the personal statement of reference, but they also look at the Law National Admissions Test when, I should say, I'm applying, I've applied for law, obviously, um, and they interview you, which gives them an opportunity to get to talk to you for quite an extended period of time and have a real sense of you as a candidate. I found home education's prepared me really rather well for university, actually. It's mainly because the method of teaching, I found, is not too dissimilar from home education at all. At university, I've found you're very much left to your own devices, you're given a tutorial a week at Oxford, basically, on a subject, and then you're left to get on with it. You're given a reading list of sort of, these are a few cases, some articles, and a bit of textbook you need to read, and you need to write this essay. And then it's very much a matter for you to actually do it. No one is going to chase you if you don't do it. There's, of course, help there if you need it, but it's up to you to structure your own time in a way that lets you do that.